Hi everyone, welcome to How Inez Rolls. I hope you're ready for day number five, the last day of our cookie recipes, and we're making chocolate candy cane kiss cookies. They're so adorable, and I know they'll be delicious, so let's get started. I hope you've been enjoying all of the recipes up to this point. If you've missed any, they'll be linked down below. It's been so fun to do one every single day and to give you some different options for parties or get togethers or who knows, maybe even a neighbor gift or a fun friend gift. So you guys, this one is gonna be very similar to the crinkle cookie in the aspect that we're gonna be dropping things into like, um, I'll show you some sugar, but let me show you what you're gonna need. Now remember, I'm doubling the recipe, but you'll need a third of cup of butter a half a cup of brown sugar, three quarters of a cup of sugar, one egg, a third of a cup of Greek yogurt, two thirds of a cup of cocoa, one and a half cups of flour, which I'm getting kind of low, and then we're going to be, um, we're gonna be rolling it in this red and white coarse uh, sugar. This one isn't as easy to find, but I, if you can't find it, I bet you could just do it in um, powdered sugar as well. So, uh, but this will be really fun to have. Plus these are the striped kisses the, um, and they're candy cane flavored. So they're gonna make those super cute. Now that your expert cookie maker is up to day five, first thing we're gonna need to do is cream some butter and sugar. So let's get that going and then we'll just start putting everything in and I'll always bring you closer. I just put the sugar and the butter into the bowl but before I start to cream it, I was wondering what your Christmas Eve traditions are. Normally our family does like a big family party or a family party that has lasted for 30 plus years but Paul's aunt who hosts it is getting up there in years and so it is time to retire that party. Christmas Day we have planned, so it's kind of going to be our family doing something, and I want to know what some of your traditions are for Christmas Eve. Do you go drive around? Is there a play you can find? Is there a dinner you go out to? Um, let me know in the comments, because I think it's time for us to kind of start thinking about maybe some new traditions. Last night, my sons went out caroling. Maybe Christmas Eve, that might be something we do as a family. Who knows? So let me know in the comments what your family does and I'll bring you closer. So I've just added my eggs. My dough is mostly, it's all mixed in with the sugar. I don't really hear the granules. That's kind of when you know it's done, where it just keeps going. Plus it's been like three or four minutes. So I added my eggs and now I'm going to add the Greek yogurt. So this is the first time I'm adding this into a recipe. I have added um, sour cream in the past to some recipes. So I'm assuming it's gonna give us that same kind of tartness to it. But I'm excited to see what these will taste like. Um, so now I'm going to add, I have my baking soda now in here, and I am going to slowly mix in uh, the, the cocoa powder. So I'm going to be doubling it, so it'll need two two-thirds cups. So let's do this. Just getting that last bit of the cocoa in. I'm just doing it nice and slow. So I, I even got out a spoon because I didn't want it to be so like, puffing up in my face too much. <laughs> so once we get the flour in here, it'll make it so much easier to kind of bind it all together. So I think we may be getting ready for that right now. So I just put in the one and a half cups and we're going to blend it nice and slow. And I'll be adding a little bit more because I'm doubling it. So you may want to put like three quarters of a cup in first and then a little bit later, blend that then add the other parts. I can already tell from the smells, and I wish you guys all had smell-o-vision, but the Greek yogurt is giving it such a deep 
um, a rich flavor. Like I can smell it. Like it goes really good with uh, the chocolate. So what a great recipe this is. So the batter is done. It's really thick, like a nice thick brownie recipe. So it's gonna be sticky, but we're gonna be putting these little sprinkles, these sugar sprinkles into a bowl. I'm not gonna put all of it. I'm not gonna dump it all out. I'm gonna just add it as I need it. And we're just going to make about teaspoon size little balls and kind of drop them in. I'll put two in there just to kind of we're just gonna roll them around when you move this dough. I've lined my cookie sheet. I'm just gonna roll it in the dough. So it's gonna have like a nice little uh, sugary exterior. And then we're going to put that on the cookie sheet. Show you. Uh, and I'll bring you closer for sure. So we're gonna have about teaspoon size, nice and sticky. <laughs> and we're gonna drop it in our sugar and then roll it around. This will make it, um, your countertops nice and messy, <laughs> but it'll also make it so that um, the dough is actually more pliable, kind of like the powdered sugar we did with the, the cr uh, crinkle cookies. And that's it, let's keep going. Here we go, you guys. So these are gonna cook for eight minutes at 350 degrees, and then I'll show you what we'll do next. So these just came out of the oven. You can see on the cookie sheet behind me, they've been out. They, you're gonna leave them out for a couple of minutes and then move them over to a cooling area, which you will then unwrap those cute little Hershey Kisses and just put it on top. Now it doesn't have to melt on it per se before or melt into it just the heat from the cookie itself will make it very soft. So please don't move them or you're gonna have a little bit of a deflating of a Hershey Kiss. All right, so I'm pretty much done. I'm finished with work. I did a lot of this right before school started. So I have like 52 here and I still have a bunch of dough still. Not a bunch, but probably enough to make like 20 more. So let me show you what I'm gonna do. 20 maybe, we'll see. So I'm gonna just add a tea, half of a teaspoon of peppermint extract, mix it in, and do these also like the crinkle cookies, but they'll be a minty crinkle cookie. So I'm gonna add some powdered sugar to that and bake it as is. Okay, so I'm starting to roll. I did put a little bit less of the peppermint in the because it just turned out to not really be a whole lot. So a quarter teaspoon was totally fine. And um, we're just putting it and dropping them just like in my first video, you guys. So that was on Monday if you missed it on the crinkle cookies. But these are going to be so yummy. I think they're going to be like the mint is going to make it even better. And then we'll have two varieties. So my little ones are back here, the crinkles, but look at how these turned out. Now these are the more imperfect ones because I'm gonna be giving them to the preschoolers. <laughs> so the ones that I have back here are like the nicer ones that are going to friends. So you guys, now I have to try one. I haven't even tried one yet. So good. Oh man, I just love these cookies. Look at how pretty they are all that sugar sprinkle. I hope you're really liking the series that I did this week with the cookies. Wow, those are so good. You can't even tell that it has Greek yogurt in it. It just tastes like really rich, like a really, uh, like a really rich brownie. So delicious. And so these ones back here are just going to be the same version with just a little bit of mint to it. Doesn't that sound so good? So I hope you really like this, this series. Give it a thumbs up. This is the last one of the week. And I just wanna say Merry Christmas to all of you. Love you guys so much. Thank you for supporting my channel. Thank you for all of the wonderful comments, the kind words, the presents that I've gotten in the mail, the cards that I've received from you guys for the Christmas season. It has just made my heart so happy. So stick around rollers. You just never know what I'll be rolling out next. Bye everyone.